the square root of 8x squared. Well, 8 is 4 times 2, so if I write it that way, 4 times 2 times x squared, I see I have a perfect square here in my 4 and, of course, in my x. So this 4 will come out front and become a 2, and the x squared, it pops out front also and becomes an x. So I'm left with 2 times x. Again, this 2 is simply this square root of 4 right there. And this x is this square root of x squared right there. What's not accounted for yet is the 2, and it's still under the radical. So I have 2 times x times the square root of 2. Over here, 8x cubed. Well, the 8, again, is 4 times 2. And the x cubed, I'm going to write that as x squared times x. And that makes it clear that I have a perfect square here and here. So this 4, it will pop out and become a 2. And this x squared will become an x outside the radical. So let's just think it through. I have the square root of 4 right there, which is a 2. So that's taken care of. I have a square root of x squared right there, which is an x. So that's taken care of. And then what's left under the radical is a 2 and x. So I need to keep those under the radical. So I have 2x times the square root of 2x.